I decided I'd do a little quick walkthrough of the garden. So I got right here some heirloom tomatoes coming in. Over here I planted some Everglades tomatoes which are going to go by that on that white trellis over there. They grow like a vine so they'll cover that whole thing. Have some uh, other tomatoes here, cherry tomatoes, bell peppers, better boys. But uh, all these are my cucumber sprouts and I got a cucumber plant here because this was squash and it didn't take very good so I'm going to probably replace that one too. But this is all yellow squash, yellow summer squash all right here, here, all this yellow squash. This right here is my sweet potatoes coming in. They're doing well. Have some more cucumber sprouts I got to get planted. I just pulled up my garlic over there, so I'm going to plant those probably today. Got uh, more sweet potatoes. Have some beets here. Some green beans. Starting to get some beans showing up. Got some ancho peppers over there. And then along the fence line on the back, I have more tomato plants jalapenos here I've already picked a few but you can see I got another one on there some bell peppers not sure what's going on I got one off of it and no more is grown so I'm gonna put some fertilizer on there and then another bell pepper here I'm sorry this was a banana pepper this down here is my uh, watermelon watermelon more cucumbers potatoes all over here and then right here I spilt a bag of okra, so that's all okra seeds. I'm going to have to thin them out. And I planted uh, green beans along the fence there to grow as well. And that's when I spilt the okra seeds and didn't even know it. And then they just started sprouting. I had them in my pocket and they were just spilling out. So I got tons of okra there. And then the main garden side over here, well, they're both main. There's not really, I just have them divided in two sections. But I pulled all my garlic from the end there, so I'll replace that with squash. Still got greens growing, I'm trying to let them bolt out so I can get some seeds for them. And then over there I got zucchini squash, zucchini squash, some more of uh, my own sweet potatoes that I butted out that I need to pull the tubers off and plant them. More green beans, corn over in the back right corner. Still got one Brussels sprout tree holding on right there. And then more okra along the back. Got an empty space here. I'm going to plant some probably cucumbers in there. So this is a continuous cycle. I refresh the soil and turn it up. And then you can see I use the oak leaves in here. And those will decay by the time next season comes. Those will all be decayed into the ground. And then I put some over in my compost over there. Got compost under under the tarp in the back left corner. I got a leaf bin and had to put different things in out of the garden and whatnot and leaves. And then I got my tumbler here. And I, all of it in, ends up under the tarp and, and mixed all up. I let the chickens have at it and they'll turn it all up for me. Um, so it's a little process I do. So it gives me all my soil and stuff I need. I do buy like some brown cow or, or black cow or black gold, things like that, as additive to the soil, you know, just because it's only been a couple years. But once I get this all going, I shouldn't have to buy any more. So that's the layout. I got flowers you can see coming on the back side way. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but on the back side over by the pool, some of my flowers are starting to come in. I plant flowers all along that road to attract pollinators. So here's a better shot. That's still one of my collard greens right there, still growing, going at it. I'm just letting it go, like I said, just to bolt it out and get the seeds off of it. Um, over there, I planted on that little strip. You can see I'm coming in, but those are teddy bear sunflowers and some other sunflowers and flowers I plant in there do that to attract the pollinators and then you can see I got a perimeter the chickens work the perimeter all the way around that helps with bug control they're able to get all the way around and you see there's not a whole lot of grass on the outside as well so it's it's hard for those them to get by when the chickens are out so that helps me with pest control so I don't have to ever put any I don't really use anything unless I get a bad Infection is something of, you know, uh, pest or whatever, but I haven't really had to use it. I've used some seven dust on a couple things, but that's mainly because it was out of the garden area. So that's the garden update. 
hope you enjoy it you know not the best at making these videos but i like people to be able to see what what i got going on here and enjoy it if they like to garden or have ideas or used to garden and now can't you know unfortunately they can at least enjoy the videos so take care god bless and you know, have a great day